And the Colleges Code of Conduct, uh, public and media scrutiny of professional bodies and their members, as with many other organisations, has probably never been greater. What's been the College's response to that? Uh, well, there are a number of aspects to that. Um, in the last two years, the uh, Australian Medical Council uh, has been involved in developing a code of conduct for all medical professionals. And uh, the first draft of that uh, we responded very strongly to. It, we felt that it needed a lot of improvement. Uh, and uh, it subsequently was improved and uh, is now a very good document which will uh, now be adopted by the Medical Board of Australia. But there is a need for a code of conduct document for surgeons because there are some elements of our activities uh, which are not covered by the broad principles of the good medical practice document uh, for the whole medical profession. Uh, we have had our own code of conduct for some years. Uh, we are in the process of revising it currently. Uh, we have recently added a specific uh, appendix to it which covers relationships with industry, which has become a, a very hot topic. And uh, there is a new standard of behaviour required by surgeons, trainees and members of the medical industry uh, uh, and uh, we have a code of conduct uh, section that refers specifically to that. Also we have recently uh, introduced a code of conduct sanctions policy so that it's uh, not toothless. Uh, there are provisions in the sanctions policy uh, for uh, discipline and in uh, the most extreme cases even removal of fellowship for breaches of the code of conduct. 